And in fact, the Chinese courts do not recognize that AI models can be the creator. They're not human input. They're not creative. They're data. What we do with it is what forms the copyright. Though I will warn you that that Getty Images lawsuit still implies and hangs over people because in February 2024, the Guangzhou Internet Court ruled that an AI company infringed on the copyright of an iconic Japanese superhero, Ultraman, by copying and adapting, basically doing what stable diffusion is, scraping and bringing it into their data, as some images generated by that company's AI service in China were found to be substantially similar to the character. I mean, after all, you can't type in, create me a Yoda-like character and start printing and selling Yoda and say you have a copyright to something that was done. Because in the West, we're doing that right now. We've said copyright law doesn't matter. All these AI models have scraped it without permission. Well, that's what a copyright protects somebody from having done to them. And if you create any AI image in the US right now, in Europe, you would have little to no protection. There is no copyright. So anyone can take it and unlike in China, do what they want to do. But that Guangzhou court found the company liable, the model liable for bringing in those Ultraman images so that's a warning to ChatGPT, to MidJourney, to Leonardo. All of you who are scraping data and bringing it in, if you're generating images that are substantially similar, that's what copyright protects. <laughs>